Hello students, welcome back to our science video. We are done with the first non-Mendelian inheritance which is incomplete dominance, wherein it tells that dominant allele cannot always mask or cover the other allele that results into hybrid or blending of the two alleles. We also cover the idea of codominance, wherein the alleles of a gene pair in a heterozygote are fully expressed phenotypically. You may click the suggested topic on the upper right corner to redirect you in that video. But for today's lesson, we will study the second non-Mendelian inheritance which is related to the sex chromosomes. At the end of this video, viewers are expected to use the Punnett square to solve for non-Mendelian inheritance. To start this lesson, let's try to do a quick viewing. Let's test your eye vision by looking at this picture. Try to find the hidden number. If you can see the number, which is 12, it means that you have a normal eye vision. If not, you might have color blindness, a kind of sex link trait that is inherited from the parents to offspring. But still, you need to undergo different tests done by a medical doctor to confirm. Color blindness will be discussed further in the next part of this video. To continue, if you have color blindness, this is what you might see in the previous picture, wherein you can identify the number because the color of the number blends with the other color. To proceed, let's discuss the second type of non-Mendelian inheritance which is the sex link traits. Chromosomal sex is determined at the time of fertilization. A chromosome from the sperm cell, either X or Y, fuses with the X chromosome in the X cell. So, how do we determine the sex of an individual? The sex of an individual is determined by the sex chromosomes contributed to the zygote by the sperm and the egg. If the X chromosome of the sperm fused with the X chromosome of the egg cell, the offspring will be female. On the other hand, if the Y chromosome of the sperm fused with the X chromosome of the egg cell, the offspring will be male. That's why the sex chromosome for female is XX while XY for male. In human karyotype, each cell normally contains 23 pairs of chromosomes for a total of 46. 22 of these pairs are called autosomes or body cells, which look the same in both males and females, while the 23rd pair is the sex chromosomes, which differ between males and females. The X and Y chromosomes, also known as the sex chromosomes, determine the biological sex of an individual. But who decides for the sex of the baby? Females inherit an X chromosome from the father for an XX genotype, while males inherit a Y chromosome from the father for an XY genotype. Remember that mothers only pass on X chromosomes. Therefore, it's the male who decides for the sex of the offspring. All human eggs contain the X chromosome. The X chromosome contains genes that code for all aspects of femaleness and genes that are unrelated to gender like vision and immunity. The X chromosome in humans spans more than 153 million base pairs, the building material of DNA. It also represents about 800 protein coding genes compared to the Y chromosome containing about 70 genes out of 20,000 to 25,000 total genes in the human genome. The Y chromosome is much smaller than the X. It carries a small number of genes, most of which are for male characteristics. The Y chromosome contains a male-determining gene, or called the SRY gene, that causes testes to form in the embryo and results in the development of external and internal male genitalia. Sex chromosomes can also carry other genes and might affect the individual phenotypically. 
it is being transmitted from the parents to the offspring, especially if both parents are carrier of that specific genes. These genes are called sex-linked traits. Sex link is a trait in which a gene is located on a sex chromosome. In humans, the term generally refers to the trait that are influenced by genes on the X chromosome. This is because the X chromosome is large and contains many more genes than the smaller Y chromosome. Most known sex link traits are X link or carried on the X chromosome. Why? This is probably because the X chromosome is much larger and carried more genes than the Y chromosome. What are holandric genes? The genes that are carried on the Y chromosome are called holandric genes. Holandric genes can only be passed by males onto their sons. They code for maleness but sometimes cause rare conditions like hypertrichosis pinae and color blindness. As you can see in the picture, that is an example of a hypertrichosis pinae or there is a process of excessive coarse black hair on the auricle of the human ear. So who is at greater risk for inheriting sex-linked disorders? Is it males or females? Males are at much greater risk for inheriting sex disorders because they only inherit one X chromosome. So if the X has the allele for the disorder, they will become affected. What are the examples of sex-linked traits and disorders? First, we have baldness. Second is hemophilia. And lastly is color blindness. Color blindness. Males are more likely to be color blind due to the fact that they only have one X chromosome. Color blindness is a sex link trait found on the X chromosome. Hemophilia, a blood disorder where the blood does not clot properly. A minor cut can cause serious injury and demand medical attention. Bleeding into the joints, internal bleeding, and deep cuts can be fatal for hemophiliacs. As we examine this pedigree diagram, even though the father is unaffected, there is still a chance of having an affected child if the woman is a carrier of an X-linked recessive disorder. The chances are the following. 25% chance of having an affected son, a 25% chance of having affected son, a 25% chance of having an affected daughter, and a 25% chance of having a daughter who is also a carrier. Remember, even though the mother is only a carrier and do not express the disease phenotypically, still, her children has a chance of expressing the disease, especially to the male offspring, since one X chromosome that carries the disease will make the child affected right away. Let's try to understand the concept of sex-linked traits using a Punnett square. The mother is a carrier and the father is normal. So let's try to see what are the possible genotypes and phenotypes of this cross. There is a 25% chance of having a female normal and another 25% of having male normal. The other 25% is female carrier. And the last 25% is male affected. Further discussion of this lesson will be done during our synchronous session. Let's apply what you have learned in our today's video by simply answering this question. If you agree or disagree, you may write your answer in the comment section below and state your reason why. Since we have learned that sex chromosome can also carry recessive genes, especially in the X chromosome, are you in favor that couples should undergo genetic counseling before marriage? Why or why not? Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more science educational videos.